So I'm not sure that I necessarily agree that doublets are always preferred for, for frail patients. I think it depends a little bit about the agent or the combination we're talking about what is appropriate for an older, frailer patient. Um, but for example, we know that the um, combination of daratumumab, lenalidomide and dexamethasone, which has um, excitingly been recently approved by NICE in the UK and therefore is um, going to be available to our UK patients um, who are newly diagnosed but not eligible for a stem cell transplant. This is actually a, a very tolerable um, combination. And within the Maya study, there were a, a large number of older patients who were able to tolerate that triplet combination. Um, importantly, the daratumumab reduces to a once monthly um, injection and the um, potential for dose modifying lenalidomide in the older frailer patients also um, improves the possibility of uh, delivering this triplet combination even to those older frailer patients. So I think we're perhaps moving away from believing that we can only deliver one or two drugs in a doublet to really frail patients and thinking more about how we could um, dose modify treatments to deliver these really effective triplet or um, um, combinations so that we're getting the different mechanisms of action of, of different drugs, um, even for older frailer patients.